of that video that had the entire state talking, the man who shot and killed a stranger during a parking lot dispute is now being charged with manslaughter. This comes 25 days after the incident. Police say Michael Draca killed Marquise McLaughlin. So the shooter wasn't arrested immediately after because the Pinellas County Sheriff said the homicide fell under Florida's stand your ground protections. The state prosecutor disagreed. So that case is now sparking some new debate about when the controversial law should apply. On your side, Julia Janae is looking closer at how we got here and joins us now with more Julia. The Stand Your Ground clause was signed into law more than 12 years ago under Governor Jeb Bush. Supporters of the law say it strengthens our self-defense laws that are already on the books. But those who want it changed say it simply provides too much protection. Immunity for pulling the trigger. Florida's Stand Your Ground laws have faced scrutiny since their creation in 2005. The statute removed a requirement to retreat or leave a dangerous situation if there's a threat. Before that, it only applied to someone in their own home. The latest oh, criticism God. of the law comes out of Pinellas yeah. County after the sheriff there actions. declined to arrest Michael Draca, claiming he was protected by Stand Your Ground. Authorities said Draca killed Marquise McLaughlin on July 19th during a parking lot argument. This video shows McLaughlin push Draca to the ground. Moments later, Draca appears to fire a deadly shot. The guy should have been arrested from day one. McLaughlin's family spoke publicly Monday after the state prosecutor decided to file a manslaughter charge against Draca. But when I got the news today, obviously I was happy. I was ecstatic about it, but, you know, I'm just sorry that it took so long. Criminal defense attorney Curtis Fallgatter, who is not involved with the case, says the way McLaughlin appears to turn away from the fight will be a major legal factor. Threat gone. Obviously, the prosecutors thought the threat was sufficiently gone, and shooting someone when they appear to be walking away uh, why do you need to stand your ground when, when it's over? What's the line between overreacting and just defending yourself? Always going to be a judgment call. I have to look at the factors. A judgment call that can be made by a sheriff or a prosecutor, but ultimately will be decided by a judge. Fallgatter says those making the decision will look at whether the other person had a weapon and if it was reasonable to think that there was a threat. And you cannot resort to deadly force unless you are in a position where you believe you're in a situation where deadly force is going to be used or eminently going to be used against you for one of your loved ones that happens to be with you. Now on Friday, Florida lawmakers voted on whether or not to hold an emergency session to review the stand your ground laws. That proposal didn't get enough votes to pass. For now, reporting from the studio, Julia Janae, First Coast News on your side.